everyone. Um, I got a request to make a second video about how to raise my chickens and how my chickens are doing. So this is going to be a video just updating, I guess. So this is the coop. It's nothing like crazy. When I move, I'm probably just going to get a whole new coop because I'm not crazy about this one. But there's a little stairs going up. And there's some nesting boxes on the top. And on the bottom. And there's one on the bottom. And there's Christmas lights in there. Because um, in the winter, I turn the Christmas lights on. They're LED Christmas lights. I turn them on at 5 a.m. 4 or 5 a.m. I turn them on. And then when the sun goes down, I turn them on again until about 7 o'clock at night. So this keeps them laying, it keeps their uh, laying hormones going, so they keep laying eggs throughout the winter, even though there's not that much sunlight. So that is the coop, this is the run. It's attached to the coop. The bottom is um, sand, there, I use sand in the coop and sand in the run, and then underneath the sand is um, more chicken wire, so if something tries to dig underneath, it cannot get through because there's chicken wire underneath the sand. There's a... Uh, let's see if you can see it. There's um, a bird feeder in there. I noticed the, the food was disappearing quick, so I raised it up higher so that mice and chipmunks and squirrels can't get to it. Um, and the water is raised too, up on bricks, so they don't get the sand in the water as much. But um, I, I like the sand a lot. I feel like it's it's definitely the best um, the best litter so far. I was using um, newspaper in the coop was horrible. It was horrible to keep up with. And then I switched to pine shavings, and that was okay. But uh, it was very stinky and very messy. The sand is really easy because um, a couple times a week you just take a like a litty a litter quitter strainer thing here. You take something like this, and you just like strain the poop out and discard it in your garden or wherever you want, and um, then you keep the sand. And after a while, like the sand gets wet and gross, and then you just replace it. But uh, it lasts a while. But um, yeah, so this is my little. It's a uh, a large dog cage that I put next to the coop run and when I have a broody chicken she goes in there with some food and water and we keep her separate until she is no longer broody which is wanting to hatch eggs we don't have a rooster so we can't hatch any eggs but uh yeah that's that's pretty much it my coop my run is a uh, it's somewhat covered I don't know if you can see it see it's like I found this panel in my front yard, and I'm like, oh, look at that, it's almost the perfect size, so I'll just use that to cover my coop, so they don't get, like, rained on when it rains, but, um, they free range anyway, my coop and run isn't the nicest, but they spend most of their time on the acre, just foraging and free ranging, uh, they're actually free ranging right now in one of the garden sections. Buck, 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 Foxy! Come here, girls. Well, they don't want to come over into the camera. But there they are. They're all healthy and happy. I feed them um, organic feed from Blue Seal. So it's non-GMO. So we don't have any uh, exploding chip chicken stomachs or tumors for my girls. But um, yeah, they free range just about every day. If we're going to be gone all day, I don't let them free range because it's not safe for them. I had an attack the other day from either a hawk or a fox, I don't even know, but there was someone home and there was still an attack. So one of the things you need to keep in mind when letting your chickens free range is there will be attacks. It does happen, you know, you can be as careful as you want, but even with someone home it happened. We had a dog attack, we had a fox take my first flock, we had hawk attacks, so you know, with free-ranging, attacks are going to happen, so 
I try to recommend if you're gonna let them free range, try to at least be close to the yard or have a protective animal in the yard with them. Uh, sometimes I'll have my Doberman pincher outside to like keep an eye on them, but with the Dobie, she she doesn't really care too much about them. If something happens to them, she gets upset, but if there's other dogs in the yard, she usually doesn't confront them because she's she's a baby. But uh, yeah, she doesn't like confrontation. But um, yeah, just be careful when you free range because attacks happen a lot. And I guess any other questions, feel free to comment. Thanks guys.